Hey guys, I'm Andrew Henderson, Nomad Capitalist, nomadcapitalist.com here on the beach in Langkawi Island, Malaysia. Thought I'd make a quick video for you here, uh, Sans Tripod, uh, to answer a question that some folks have asked here on YouTube regarding renouncing U.S. citizenship and what happens to your government benefits, specifically what happens to Social Security. So a number of people have commented here on YouTube. They've sent us emails, which you can do at nomadcapitalist.com. Uh, one gentleman that I've been working with personally uh, has a similar situation, but he's got a green card. He's a not a citizen, but he has a green card, and he asked, uh, what happens if I relinquish my green card after having lived here for a long time? And so in this video, I don't want to address the other government retirement programs. I don't want to address Medicare or military benefits. We'll talk about that separately. But when it comes to Social Security, uh, the good news is that if you renounce your U.S. citizenship, those benefits are still due to you. Now, I'm not a Social Security expert, but I do understand the basic concepts of Social Security, which are that, first of all, you need to pay in for, as I understand, 40 quarters. So that's 10 years of actually paying into Social Security. And if you have accomplished that, uh, then your Social Security will remain uh, intact. So basically what it means is, if for whatever reason you're eligible for it, you will continue uh, to get it just as you would have. And this is basically due to the fact that the government's still pitching Social Security as kind of a, as a, as a retirement program. It's your money. I remember when I was in uh, middle school in the eighth grade and one of the guidance counselors says, well, you know, now that you've, uh, you're getting a summer job, you should be proud because you're paying into Social Security and that's, that's your money. As if there's an account somewhere with my name on it. You know, there's, there's like a lockbox with some money in there. But nevertheless, uh, if you are due Social Security, you will get it after you've renounced citizenship because it's your benefit. Now, there are some restrictions where there are a few countries where they will not send your benefits. Uh, interestingly enough, Georgia, the Republic of Georgia, is on the short list of countries where they cannot send benefits. And I guess they review that every once in a while and they update where they can and can't send money. Uh, but you can actually have your money deposited, whether it's in a U.S. bank, whether it's in a foreign bank, you can get your Social Security money after you renounce. And if you want to figure out what you're owed, you do just what anyone else would do. You go onto the Social Security website, you get an account, as I did, and you just log on and, and get the statement. I remember as a kid, your, your parents used to be mailed those statements where it says, if you retire today, you'll have this much money. Now you go in line, you sign up for your account, you figure out what you're owed, uh, and there you go. Assuming that the program doesn't change, doesn't go broke, doesn't become means tested, they don't change the laws in the future to single out these rich fat cats who are leaving the country like traitors, then you'll get your money. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind is obviously what you get is based on what you paid in. So if you did very well when you ran a business and you had a high income in the United States, then your Social Security may be relatively high. Obviously, if you're younger and you had a high income uh, for not that many years, which was my case, then your Social Security still won't be that high. Uh, I think in my case, I'm due something like 1300 bucks a month because I, I didn't have that. I had some good years, but there weren't that many good years. Um, obviously, also keep in mind that if you're taking advantage of the foreign earned income exclusion uh, and you're doing it the way that I would recommend, where you're doing the fully proper setup for your business while offshore, uh, then you will not be paying into Social Security, or at least very, very little, potentially, uh, and therefore that money won't count. So, you know, obviously, time that you spent offshore, you won't be paying in, nor will that be getting added to the pot. You know, in general, I think for a lot of us, especially those of us who are younger, getting Social Security is a somewhat moot point. You know, for me, what, when do I first qualify? 30 years from now? I mean, the value of getting thousand dollars in change 30 years from now is obviously relatively minimal I would rather have all the money I put in back in my pocket to invest um, but if you're concerned about that and that's something that you're thinking about relating to renouncing US citizenship no need to worry obviously you're not going to keep accumulating benefits so long as you're not paying into Social Security but whatever uh, whatever is already there will be left for you if you want to find out more about becoming a global citizen Announcing U.S. citizenship, if that's on the table, uh, reducing your taxes legally, even as a U.S. citizen or Australian, Canadian citizen, etc. Um, 
getting a second passport. All these different topics are covered here on our channel. You can subscribe here on YouTube, get all of our latest videos, and uh, we definitely recommend that you subscribe. And also, go to nomadcapitalist.com if you're looking for more advanced strategies. You want to figure out what needs to be done for yourself. That's when you go to nomadcapitalist.com.